Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video on Skyrim skill analysis and today I'm going to be talking about smithing and the smithing skill and how good of a skill is it? Now smithing is a very, 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 very simple skill, right? Basically you smith and there's two perk trees. There's one for light armor, one for heavy armor and it ends with dragon armor. There's also a thing in the middle called arcane blacksmithing. That's where you can improve magical weapons and stuff. So it's kind of like you get it halfway through, kind of like you did in Oblivion, where about halfway through the smithing tree, you could repair and uh, you could repair the magical enchanted items. So, really simple. You know, I I don't really see a point to them fleshing it out more because I feel like if they fleshed it out a lot, like they're like, okay. Orcish armor, orcish weapons, elven weapons, this, this, that, and the other, it would take up too many perk slots. Now, me personally, I don't like smithing because it feels super grindy. Like, I just, I don't like the whole walk up to the thing, smelt the ore, make things, carve the leather, do this, do that, da 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 da. I don't like the process of it because I feel like, like, I feel like almost, like, because uh, to get really like a lot of supplies fast you need to be raiding and getting gold and you're gonna be leveling up and finding the same loot that you're creating anyways so i don't see a point to it unless you want to go for dragon armor because i know dragon armor is like the whole freaking best type of stuff in the whole game type stuff so i really think that you know unless you're gonna go for dragon armor there's no point in smithing i honestly don't think there's a point i mean maybe if you like our end game and you have like Diedrich things and you want to improve your weapons that way, you have the Diedrich and glass weapons and stuff. I guess I could see where you would want to improve those, but it's like, it, it just, it's a boring process to me. Like already buying and selling things kind of takes a bit long and then if you have a house, storing stuff at the house, but like, I don't know, it's, it's, it doesn't, it doesn't feel rewarding to smith. If that makes any sense. Like, even like potion making feels more rewarding than smithing because you have these things that, if you need a health potion, you make a health potion. By the time you can make an ebony sword, right? You probably can find ebony swords. By the time you can make elven armor, you can probably find elven armor. But, I do remember that by the time I could find Elven Arbor, I could improve it. So unless you're going down the route of having a super specced out character, I would say don't even touch smithing. It's just kind of boring to me. So that's really it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed, you know. I was a downer. Some people said I hate all the skills in Skyrim. I don't. The combat skills are fun. But yeah, I'm Sif the Cash Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. You can subscribe for more Skyrim videos. And I'll see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or steam it post of whatever I decide to make.